Throughout central Mexico, ruins of the powerful and great Aztec and Mayan civilizations can still be found to this day. surviving the harsh elements for hundreds of years. In this same area, you can find another survivor, still going strong for over 100 million years. Proving that they are not the moth, they are the flame. Scientists call this species the Brachypelma errata, but most know her by her common name, the Mexican flame knee tarantula. This beautiful young lady is a descendant of the first tarantulas in the Americas that appeared about 120 million years ago. Over time, these tarantulas have branched off and evolved into over 1,000 different species, spread all across the planet. Mexico has the second highest diversity of tarantulas in the world, second only to Brazil, with over 66 different species. 12 of which are in the Brachypelma genus. Unique to their cousins, like the Brachypelma homori, Brachypelma baimi, or the Brachypelma amelia. The B. erratum stands out with velvet black legs and bright red knees making her one of the most striking and distinctive species in the country. Found along the central border of Guerrero and Michoacan, deep in the dry pine oak forests in the middle of Mexico. The flamey tarantula lives in an extreme, dry, and hostile environment. Surviving in the scrublands of central Mexico is no easy feat. Constantly surrounded by predators, eagerly seeking their next meal, every decision is a matter of life and death. Equipped with large fangs, a paralyzing venom, and harpoon-like hairs they kick off into a cloud temporarily blinding their foes. The Mexican flame knee tarantula is a formidable opponent against any would-be predator, which is ironic as they are also one of the most docile and gentle species of the tarantula world. Typically, they spend their days hidden in burrows in the roots of trees, in crevices of rocks, or in the abandoned burrows of small rodents. One specimen has even been observed by a researcher, cohabitating in a burrow with a small species of frog. Whether that is typical or just a random behavior has not yet been fully studied. Being a nocturnal animal, they avoid the heat of the day, which regularly exceeds 85 degrees Fahrenheit or just over 29 degrees Celsius. Hiding deep in their cool burrows, which also provides protection from predators out on the hunt. But as the sun sets, this typically calm, slow-moving spider goes into predator mode. Unlike other apex hunters in the area, they do not track and stalk their prey. They are opportunistic hunters, patiently waiting at the mouth of their burrows for any insect or small reptiles or mammals to venture too close. 
once their potential prey has crossed into the kill zone, the flamey tarantula stays motionless, frozen like a statue. They do not have very good eyesight and they lack a nose, but they are not without a sense of smell. Tarantulas are covered with thousands of very sensitive hairs called setae that are so receptive they can detect the slightest movement of air molecules as well as slight changes in the chemicals of the air, essentially giving them the ability to feel smells, so to speak. The bottoms of their feet can also feel the slightest vibrations, and usually they lay thin strands of web around the outside of their burrow and then place their front feet on this webbing, giving them the ability to locate the precise position of anything entering their area. They can determine not only that something is moving, but also how large, fast, and strong this potential prey may be. From that, they can quickly determine if they should pounce on their next meal or quickly retreat into their burrow for protection. These quick decisions are instinctual and what has enabled this species to survive for thousands of years. But they don't start off as these intimidating large spiders. The flame knee tarantula emerges from their mother's egg sac as a tiny spiderling, no larger than one centimeter, and it can take years before they reach their adult size. During this time of growth, they are most vulnerable to predators, which can also include other tarantulas. They survive by catching small insects, much like the adults, but they are also not above scavenge feeding and can be found feasting off recently deceased insects or leftovers from the meals of larger predators. With time, perseverance, and a little luck, these baby flame knees slowly grow over time into the beautiful and formidable adult specimens that can live for over 30 years. environment as hostile as this, where the elements and wildlife all seem to be out to get you, there is another dangerous foe lurking just beyond the dry forests. More dangerous than any weather or predator they naturally encounter, this adversary has been known to kill their species for fun, showing no mercy and no understanding to the pivotal role they play in their ecosystem, no consideration to the fact they help control the insect and rodent population. Some even capture them, imprisoning them to be shipped off illegally to other countries. That along with the destruction of their habitat for farming and ranching, humans may be the most dangerous opponent this flame knee may ever go up against. Because of all these reasons, and the fact that people will routinely kill these tarantulas on sight out of either fear or superstition, the Brachypelma erratum, as of 2018, has been placed on the near-threatened list of species by the IUCN in an effort to combat the eradication of this species and many others. The Mexican government has implemented strict laws regarding the collection and export of these tarantulas for the pet trade and have set up programs where people can breed these tarantulas in captivity and receive permits that allow them to export the spiders to other countries legally. Portions of the captive bred spiderlings are required to be reintroduced into their native environments, ensuring that these tarantulas will not continue to decline in numbers. These actions have nearly eradicated the black market trade of tarantulas in Mexico and made great strides in protecting their possible extinction. This, along with the fact that currently the majority of flamey tarantulas in the pet hobby have been captive bred in countries all around the world has also helped protect the wild tarantulas living in Guerrero and Michoacan, leaving the greatest threats to these spiders to be the people that are fearful when they come across them in the wild, due to being uninformed on just how docile they can be and how they pose no real threat to humans, which can lead to people killing these spiders unnecessarily. The venom of these tarantulas is just strong enough to incapacitate insects and small animals, and is nowhere potent enough to harm healthy adults. The only risk the tarantula's venom poses to humans 
would be in the rare instance of a person having an allergic reaction and going into anaphylactic shock. To this date, there have been no fatalities reported from the bite by this or any species of tarantula. So even though they may appear intimidating and even frightening, they pose no real threat to humans. And typically, they would prefer to run and hide before standing their ground or even attempting to bite when confronted with something as large and formidable as a human. These tarantulas play a pivotal role in the interconnected web of life and should be revered and respected, not feared and destroyed. The recent efforts of the Mexican government and other programs and agencies have made great strides in restoring balance to the ecosystem and protecting these species from eradication. A lesson in conservation, education, and awareness that should be an example for other governments around the world facing similar issues with the declining number of tarantulas and other wildlife due to deforestation, urban sprawl, and illegal collection. Working together, not just as countries, but on a global scale, we can combat the declining number of tarantulas in the wild and work together to ensure that these misunderstood animals not only survive, but thrive for generations to come. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. And in Matthew 25, 20, it is said, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Words of wisdom from decades and centuries ago. As relevant now than ever. Especially for a species as ancient as the Mexican flame knee tarantula.